Hi, my name is Everett. Welcome to my shop. This week I've just got a small project. It's not very big, but it's for a friend of mine uh, who is a plumber. Now, sometimes he has to install fixtures on a wall over a piece of ready rod that's a fair, fair length. And to spin the nuts down, it just takes forever with a, you know, it's kind of hard to get at if he has to use a regular set of tools. So what he's asked me to make, and actually I've made him one before, um, what he's asking me to make him is take a regular socket like this and make it about 13 and a half inches long. Now this one's a 15 16 uh, pretty close to 24 millimeters if you're, you know, in Europe or such or Asia. But um, I made him one before and what, you went, what I wound up doing was actually cutting the uh, socket in half, uh, putting it on the lathe, cleaning up the faces and then taking a piece of pipe and welding it in the middle. It's not really super complex, but uh, it's there sometimes as a mechanic, plumber, what have you, as far as uh, different trades, you have to make your own special tools out of what you have. Um, it's actually kind of interesting because I made him one before. He uh, left it on the one job site he was on, and he got transferred to a different job site with the company he's with, and lo and behold, the tool disappeared. So it's somebody else uh, nicked it and use it, is using it now. So he needs another one. It's just kind of funny that uh, I'm doing this now. And if you pop over to Welding Tips and Tricks in uh, Jody's videos, uh, I'll uh, put a link in, you know, to his uh, to his uh, page there on YouTube. He's an amazing welder. It's really cool. I've learned a lot from watching him and hearing his lessons, but uh, his his uh, videos. But uh, it's kind of ironic because he's actually making extended tools for somebody else on his, you know, his this week. So it'll be, you know, I'll leave a link to his. Uh, anyway, so first thing we need to do is cut this socket in half. And the, one of the reasons I use an impact socket instead of a regular chrome socket is, surprisingly, the impact socket, even though it's about a hardness of about 50, you know, using the hardness files on it, I uh, found that the 50 would dig in, the 45 wouldn't. Surprisingly, even with that, the bandsaw will cut it. I just have to be a little more careful about it. So we'll move it over to the bandsaw, we'll cut it off, and then we'll cut the uh, piece of tubing off to length. So I have a uh, piece of block behind the, or in the other side of the uh, jaws from the socket. As long as I go at a nice, reasonable pressure, try not to rush it. The bandsaw will cut through this socket. Just that easy. So now to make the middle piece, we're going to use one inch sked 40 pipe and we're going to cut off a piece about 10 inch, uh, three, 10 and three quarter inches long. So now we just have to take and face the ends of the sockets that we've cut, the ends of the socket rather. It's only one socket cut into two pieces, fine. This is a fairly hard steel, so I don't really want to be too rough on it. Thankfully it's not too crazy uh, hard. I need to skim through the uh, surface coating so it'll make a decent weld. Okay. 
We'll put a small chamfer on the end. With a chamfering tool. That'll do is that'll make it a little easier to uh, get a good penetration with the weld bead. One piece done. Next piece. Now for what it's worth, let me move this out a little bit. Now he's not going to be using this tool or the socket at a very fast speed and run out is not, run out's not the biggest problem with this. We just want to make sure it holds. That's it. So that's it for the sockets, or the socket pieces rather, onto the pipe. It's kind of gross on the end, but we'll fix that. <laughs> I guess you could say ugly is only rust deep on a piece of steel, eh? So as I was saying, just a simple, uh, simple turning on the lathe. Got our three pieces. The tricky bit comes to welding it, and I don't claim to be an expert welder, but what I do, <laughs> what I what I weld holds together. But I certainly don't claim to be an expert welder. So we'll set up over the welding table now. So here we are at the welding bench. What I've done is I've uh, taken all the three pieces and suck them together with a long piece of all thread or ready rod or whatever it's called in your neck of the woods and it's lined up uh, pretty much as close as it needs to be again this isn't going to be spinning at thousands of rpm so if there's a little run out it's not that big of a deal this is a tool steel used for the uh, socket this is well some sort of milder steel i can tell just even i can even tell by the way it was cutting I'm not sure the composition so we're going to use 309's, we're going to use 309 stainless to weld the, uh, to make this weldment. Uh, unfortunately, the thickest I have is 1 16th, so I'm going to have to uh, feed the filler rod a little faster than usual. Uh, I'll set the machine for, uh, set the machine, we'll set the machine for 140 amps um, at the top. I have the uh, foot pedal as well. Now, as far as a ground, I'm not going to be able to grab onto the all thread simply because of the coating and I don't really want to mess up more of the coating than I have to. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that the ground clamp is grabbing into the groove on the, uh, on the side we're not welding. We'll tack it, I'll, t uh, I'll tack a couple spots and then we'll, we'll weld it. I do apologize about the welder fan noise and about the fact that I'm not a I realize I'm not a professional welder, so please be kind in your comments. Just a couple tacks. I'm only going to be able to do about a quarter of a turn at once. Yeah, that's kind of ugly. Oh, 
And again, he's just attaching uh, plumbing fixtures to a wall. It doesn't have to do 300 foot-pounds with the torque. But it seems like the older I get, the shakier I get. Oops. Yeah, my arc started drifting a bit. Oh, dipped it. That's one end. Again, not super pretty, but it will hold. And for the purposes we need to do, or it needs here, it will be just fine. I know I'm getting reasonable penetration down to the root because I can actually see the puddle forming as I'm cut or as I'm welding here. Again, they're not, they probably wouldn't pass for a, uh, a food plant, for a pipe weld a food plant, but for a socket that just has to be used to attach some pipes to it, or some plumbing fixtures to the wall and some ready rod, it will work just fine. Yeah, for, for a, someone who's fairly new at welding TIG, I don't, I don't feel too bad about those welds. They're not the prettiest, I know, but... Uh, It'll, for the purposes it needs to uh, perform, it'll do just fine. I didn't want to create a really high, uh, a really high bead on it, a really tall one, because again, this is a socket. It has to go into certain tighter spots and such. But yeah, 15 16 half inch drive. I think my buddy Kevin will be tickled. So again, it's just a quick little video this week of just making a modified tool. Uh, I have again. More projects are coming and on the go. Uh, some of them are still in the drawing books. I got some really, I got some cool stuff on Fusion 360 right now. I'm still drawing up. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. See you next week.